So this is a Bailey Unicorn Madrid. Um, we're just going to go around the van and show you how it operates. The hitch up procedure, I'm going to do in a separate video as it's quite hard to demonstrate um, with one person and without a car to hook it up to. So I'm going to demonstrate that on a separate video and just show you how that all hooks up. On the front of this particular van, you've got your ATC. The van hasn't been cleaned yet on the outside. It has been cleaned on the inside, but the outside is uh, still awaiting cleaning. So we're just going to um, go around the rest of the van now. The ATC will come on when you connect to the car, but again, I'll demonstrate that in another video. Down this side, oh, first of all, down this side of the van, we've got the wind down legs on either side, as you can see, in the same positions on both sides. Got the water pump, which just pushes into the side of the van and drops down into the act roll. Next to that, you've got the flue for the gas systems on board the van, which I believe is on, which it is. I will show you that when we go inside the van. As I said, the motor mover, which is just down there, we'll demonstrate in another video. And then the wheel nuts. On a Bailey, you've got um, splined wheel nuts, uh, basically locking wheel nuts on each of the nuts. Um, and the, the uh, locking wheel nut for that is in the front uh, drawer of the van. Got the gas bottle in the side locker. You've got the gas valve on top, open and closed. Reverse thread fitment to the gas bottle itself. And then you've got your gas regulator up top here, as you can see. Which is all set up as it needs to be. Coming down to the back of the van, you've got your wind down legs on either side. So you've got one there and one on the opposite side also. On the back of the van, you've also then got your toilet flush tank. So you put three and a half litres of water in here before use. And as you can see, you need to drain it down before towing the van. I'll show you what that is in a second. But you put three and a half litres of water in here and a cap full of the pink fluid. Underneath, in the locker just here, we've got the toilet waste cassette. So you pull it out by pulling the handle and pulling it towards you. You've got an orange pressure relief button on the back. So when you tip the waste away, it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. You'll empty it through the cap here, through the neck here, which actually spins out. Uh, handle at the bottom, which pulls out, so you can pull the cassette along rather than having to carry it. In here, you'll put one liter of water and a cap full of the blue fluid before use, and the cap you measure it on is this gray cap just here. The pipe for draining down the water system is just tucked away at the top here. It's tucked out of the way, just there. Um, and you just pull this black cap out the end and uh, the flush tank will empty before towing away. Down this side, you've got a storage locker for underneath the rear bunk on this side of the van. You've got your mains power going into the caravan. 240 plug socket. That's 240 plug socket and a satellite connection on the outside of the van so you connect to the telly. Fridge vents on the side of the van also. Um, and they're simply, you, uh, simply there to allow hot air from out the back of the fridge and also the gas um, that you can operate the fridge on. Storage locker for underneath the seat at the front. Mains power connection coming in uh, out of the van. So you've got a three pin plug just there. And you've also got a gas barbecue point on this side also. No locker on the front of these vans. Do advise though, if you haven't got one to buy yourself an adjustable spanner for the gas bottle on the far side of the van. When we go inside the van, the first thing we do is, is turn the power on. So just up here, you've got your mains power on this switch just here. Your internal lights, do apologise the video hasn't cleared up yet, hopefully it will do in a second. So you've got your main power switch, your water pump run, which I've already filled the system up, but I'm going to demonstrate how you do that in a moment anyway. Lights on and off, and then your awning light on and off just here as well. And at the top you've got your voltmeter for the battery on board the van. So first of all, before you do anything, you're going to fill up the water system on board the van. Now underneath the seat on the far side, you need to move the cushions out of the way and lift up the uh, extendable table. Just underneath here, right down in the back corner, you can't quite see it on the video, but there's a yellow valve. Now at the minute, that yellow valve is parallel with the floor, which means the water system can be filled. However, when you're draining the water system down, it needs to be pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat. And you also need to put the taps into the central position and open so it drains the water completely out. When you receive the caravan, there'll be no water on board the van at all. So once you've got the water connected on the outside, as you've seen, I've already done. You can then come over to the water pump switch, turn the water pump on. 
with the taps all open on the hot side of the water. So you'll open it up, as you can see, water coming out as you'd expect to see. But to, to bleed the system, like I said, you'll have them all completely open. Um, so that's the tap in the bathroom also and the one on the shower itself. Once the water system's full, you can then go to the water heating and hot uh, heating and hot water control panel, which on this particular van is an Aldi style system or an Aldi system. So just here you have your control panel. You've got main, you've got power on and off to the Aldi control panel. You've got your menu button just here. So you've got your heating on the top. So you've got heating down and heating up. Water temperature. So you've got water off and water on. So when it's completely full, that is the water heating up. When you've got the hot water on, uh, the heating on, it will actually warm the water as well at the same time. But to boost it, you'll just turn this back on here. Power off coming into the, into the heating control panel. So you've got power off. So that means there is no power currently going to the heating or hot water system. As you can see, it is ignited on gas at the moment. You've got one kilowatt, two, two kilowatt or three kilowatt in here. So depending on what power supply you bring on the site or is on the site you're on, you can control the power through here. Gas on and off, so you can turn the gas off or turn the gas on. It will self-ignite on gas and if it's on gas, it'll also work as a boost for the heating and hot water systems as well. In this particular van, it's got aircon fitted, so to turn your aircon lights on, you press the button in the center here. As you can see, as you can see, lights are on currently. Hit the button and they go off. To turn your actual aircon on, you can press the button here. And you'll notice in a couple of seconds the aircon unit will actually come on. I do apologise, the video isn't as clear as it could be. So there you go, the aircon is now on um, and chilling. The control for that's in the front drawer along with the motor mover controllers as well. If you want to turn the aircon back off, you can turn it off on here, turn the lights off, and you can turn the control panel off also. So that's your heating and hot water control panel. Next up, we're going to go to the, the um, hob, just to show you everything's working on the hob. And what we can do is, is ignite it up. We've got gas connected. As you can see, one ring lit, two rings lit, three rings lit on the hob itself. The electric ring, a bit harder to show you, but I'll turn it on and just show you the light is on. So as you can see, the light has come on to show me that the electric ring is warming up. Show you the grill next, working on gas. So I'll just put that there for a second. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to see it ignite in a second. As you can see, Hob, uh, the grill is lit and working as it should. Down the bottom here, we've got the oven next, and again, I'm just going to demonstrate that. It's working. There we go. Oven lit as you'd expect it to be. First time you ignite any of these rings when they're still cold, you will need to hold in the gas valve on any of them, or the rings, or the oven, or grill. Just to make sure the uh, the thermocouple is warmed up. Next up, we're going to go to the fridge unit itself. Now, as you can see, at the moment, it's ignited on gas. So essentially, this orange line here is your pilot light for the gas system for the fridge. If it's off, you'll actually notice it stays in the white. So if I turn that off, there we go. Gas supply has dropped off. And it's gone back down into the white. But if I turn it back to gas, hold in the gas valve and hit the igniter. Ignite back up as you can see, going round, and that is ignited on gas as you'd expect it to. Control the temperature on gas or electric for the fridge on this dial on the right hand side. 12 volt when you're towing down the road, just here, so that's your 12 volt from the car, not from the caravan, so it'll just work the fridge as a cool box. But we do recommend before you use that, you do pre chill the fridge um, so it keeps the fridge temperature slightly cooler. 240 main, just spin the dial around to the plug symbol just here, and that is the 240. Fridge off is at the top here where the O is, and that turns the fridge completely off. 
It's going to show you all the water systems working. So water on. Water on. And as you can see, if I come back up this end, just turn the tap back off first. But as you can see, it's steaming away from where the water is warm on board the van. That will now be cooling down because I've turned the control panel off for that. Coming into the bathroom, I'll show you how the toilet works from inside the van. You've got an electric flush on top, and you've got a full indicator light just here to say the toilet cassette is full. The toilet does turn for your convenience, as you can see. However, when you are using the toilet, you do need to make sure the toilet is pointing straight to the front of the van. And at the bottom here, you have a toilet waste flap, so you have to open that up to allow the toilet to waste into the cassette underneath. In the cupboard at the back here, you have actually got your Aldi heating tank, and as you can see, new pink fluid in that system, um, ready to go. If it ever drops below the minimum, please do give us a call and we'll advise you on what to do at that stage. You will notice when it's cold, it stays on the minimum, and when it is warm, it comes up towards the maximum. The table for the front of the van is also in the cupboard at the rear. When you are inside the van or using the toilet facilities and you've got the heating on, please do be careful uh, with, with your legs on the uh, radiator itself. They do get quite warm and they do hold heat for quite a while after they've been turned off. So that is the Bailey Unicorn Cadiz. If you have any further questions, please do give me a call here at the Caravan Company and I'll be more than happy to help. The final part of this video that will come on after I've said my final piece here will be the motor mover demonstration itself, just to show it's operating the way it should be. Thank you. So if we demonstrate the motor mover, first of all we're going to come into the locker just down here, and at the side of the locker, you'll see your red power key, and just up the side here, we are trying to do this socially distanced, as I'm sure you can appreciate. Power on, in the locker just there. You'll then turn the controller on, on the side of the controller, which will bleep away. You'll hear a clicking noise coming from the move control box itself. And at that point, press the two buttons here. And you'll notice the motor mover will engage against the wheel. Once it's engaged against the wheel, you can release the handbrake at the front of the van. And we should have forwards. Backwards. Turn. Turn. And same with the rear. So that motor mover is working absolutely fine. We'll then put the handbrake back on to disengage the motor mover. Turn the controller off on the side, as you can see. Oh, no, we won't. Do we need to disengage it? We'll wait for that to reconnect, then we'll disengage the mover, sorry. We'll then disengage the mover by pressing the buttons here. So then at that point, then you can turn the controller off on the side, and then you can turn the power off in the locker, and you always make sure you turn it off because it could potentially drain the battery if left on. Remove the key, some people leave it in the uh, tray in there, and some people put it back on their keys. Thank you for watching.